Welcome. How are you all today? As I'm sure many of you are aware, NFTs have gained huge popularity recently. The likes of Logan Paul producing his own, as well as Gary Vee as of May the 5th releasing his own set. This is significant because it shows a mainstream shift towards the collectibles. For those of you who are unaware, NFTs, they stand for non-fungible tokens. And basically, they're a set of digital collectibles that you can purchase from other people using cryptocurrency. And what it does is it has a set of code on it that can prove that you are the owner of it. So yes, I may have a photo of it on my phone, but just like I may have a photo of the Mona Lisa, you were the one who actually owns that item. On top of this, what's really interesting about it is that no matter how many times it sells, the original artist will always get a portion of that sale price. At the moment, the market average is about 10%. So let's get into Gary Vee's launch. As of May the 5th, because five is his favorite number and I guess it lined up nicely, he launched vfriends.com. The NFTs that he created were based off characters that he's drawn and given positive human characteristics. So now you might think, why would I invest in this? Much like you're investing in any sort of other artwork, it comes with a few added bonuses. The main one of these being it gives you three years access to VCon. With VCon, Gary Vaynerchuk aims to promote marketing, ideas, creativity, business, etc. in this multi-day event. By having one of these 10,255 NFTs, you are able to access this event for three years. So there are three types of NFTs, the ones that just give you access to VCon, as well as the ones that give you access to Gary himself, such as Courtside at the Knicks game or Zoom conferences, as well as gifts where you give them your address and they'll just send you stuff throughout the year. Not sure what that will be, but maybe it's for you. As of the 6th of May, the auction isn't open yet. They've experienced some delays, but hopefully it'll be up soon and then you'll be able to check what they actually sold for. And in order to stop the bidding price just going sky high and malicious people trying to mess with it, they've decided to enlist a Dutch auction, which basically means that the price starts at a certain level and will slowly decrease until someone purchases it. I still think that the idea that he's trying to do this for the community, it still really pushes it for the people that can actually afford it at the highest price. But I don't know, the auctions haven't come out yet. Maybe it will go down enough that really people like you and me can gain access to it. But then again, he's a businessman, so all credit to him doing this. Most people haven't even tried going this far. They just kind of release normal NFTs, like some of those memes that people have re-put out there into NFT form that have sold for millions of dollars. But this is really trying to go past that. What can you actually do with it? What's the potential of this new form? And on his website, he says that really the aim, yes, I'm sure he makes an absolute mozza off it. But it was also to really experiment in the field because it's hard for him to talk about a topic unless he really knows how it works firsthand. Out of all of the 10,255 NFTs, there are 108 one-on-one -on -one access tokens, in which you can talk to Gary Vee yourself. To be able to purchase these NFTs, you need to have an Ethereum wallet. There are a couple of websites for these. I'm personally new in the space, so I won't recommend them myself, but there's plenty of resources online to find out more. Now the question is, are these NFTs worth it? Are they a bubble? Personally, I think they pretty much act as the same as any other collectibles, but yes, they can be a bubble, but they also might not be. Gary Vee pointed out in a televised interview when the reporter asked him about whether it is a bubble. He said the best way to judge it is to invest in the person, not the product, which makes a lot of sense because really products gain popularity via the artist. So if you have faith that the artist will continue to grow, continue to do well, then hopefully that product and collectible will do the same. But let me know, what do you think about it? Will you be investing in NFTs? Have you got them already? Are you just brushing them off because you think it's just a massive scam that you don't want to get involved in? And same with the whole crypto space. Let me know, I'll be really interested. Just put it down there in the comments. But that's it for today, just a small announcement. And hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Yeah. See ya.